Hello and welcome to this quick review of my Translate helper program that I have written. This is the view that you will face when you open it. And we can open two files. And one is the original file that we want to translate from. And the other one is probably a file that we previously have has been trans translating to but we're not finished or there have perhaps been an update to the English file. This program is written to use JSON language files. They look like this. They have a tag name and a tag value, so to say. And it expect this a precise value and it'll save to it as well. So let's open an English file and see how it looks. The, all these lines are now orange. That means that they have no translation yet. I can start to translate directly if I want to. And then save as a file. Or I can open the translation file that I've previously been editing. So let's do that. Now you can see we have a few more values that have changed and the rest are not translated yet. The yellow line means that the value is the same and sometimes that's okay and sometimes it's not. And when we're finished we can save the file and if we want to we can open it directly. It will of course look the same. I can delete or just edit it and we can resave to test. Or we can just go back to the Swedish file that we know is OK. We can also add and delete rows. Uh, it's not very useful at the moment, but it's possible. Another neat feature is that you could open the, as I mentioned before, the newer English file and the old one. And then you can compare those two to see if there has been any updates. So let me demonstrate that. We take the English file and we create a copy. Let's call this one the old. And in the old file we didn't have these values perhaps. All right. Save. Now we've opened the original, we can open these two and compare them. So let's start with a new one, as we already had. It will clear out the old file and we open the old one. Then we will see that all these yellow are the, exactly the same as before. They have not been changed not even one single word but these orange one are completely new so that's good to know the new ones we will know anyway but the yellow ones are good to know because we don't need to care about those so now when we open our translation file we can work as we would like to and just translate and not worry about the old values, if they have been changed or not. Okay, I think that's it for the quick review. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.